By all available polls, the Conservative Party under Pierre Polyev is on track for a massive once-in-a-generation parliamentary supermajority. Some estimates have him securing a caucus of 220 seats. That's nearly two-thirds of the 343 seats that will constitute the next House of Commons. And since this is Canada, that basically makes you the most powerful national leader it's possible to be within a Western democracy. In addition to your vast executive powers, you can hammer through whatever laws you want. But even an utterly smashing win in the next election wouldn't give Polyev the record. That still belongs to this guy, John Diefenbaker, also a populist conservative like Polyev, and one who wasn't averse to pomade. In 1958, Dief won 79% of the seats in the House of Commons and kicked the Liberals to their worst showing in history to that point. Why? People liked Diefenbaker, and they were tired of corrupt, hegemonic, out-of-touch liberal governments who had dominated Canadian politics for decades. So completely different than today, obviously. 